Hello fellas, it's Mad Science speaking. Today you will find out what will happen to a scorpion and a mantis. Also, you will see a meeting of the beady the gamma with the large locust. Interesting. Let's start then. This video is an educational one. The video demonstrates special aspects of feeding scorpion and the beady de gamma. Some people may find it unpleasant to watch. If you do not want to see such scenes, we recommend you stop watching. We continue to get acquainted with wildlife and first let's visit beady de game. At a young age it mainly feeds on insects. For growth, a game requires protein, which is received by eating various insects. The feeding procedure comes down to putting them in a terrarium. In the video you can see a crida, an insect that looks very much like a grasshopper. Acridas belong to the acridate family, locust. They are considered as one of the most ancient species of insects and can be eaten by humans. According to the biblical legend, it was the Acridus, along with wild honey, who made up the diet of the John the Baptist during his wanderings in the desert. When hunting for the insects, Peter the Gamma attempts to grab them from the side of the head. It's their specific feature, that way the victim practically does not resist and turns into easy prey of a predator. In the video you can watch attempts of a Bidi de Gamma to catch a Cuban cockroach, but this time a catch is not as simple as it seems to be at the first sight. Cuban cockroach are large and have a solid chitinous shell. Besides, the potential victim behaves aggressively, raising the wings and making hissing sounds. After several unsuccessful attempts, the Gamma stops attacking. In another case, the Bidi de Gamma peacefully got along with the bee leaf insect or walking stick. They were almost identical in size, so the lizard showed no aggressions towards the insect. What is more, it was even scared by him. Leaf insect in turn tried to climb on the gamma from above, most likely insectively seeing it is a branch of a tree. And now let's clarify the features of the relationship of the imperial scorpion and mantis. If you have watched previous issues on these representatives of wildlife, then you know that both of them belong to insectivorous predators. The imperial scorpion is arachnids, the mantis is insects. At the same time, the mantis attacks victims that exceed it in size. Hypothetically, a mantis can turn into a dinner for a scorpion, but what will really happen? Look carefully, there are also cockroaches in the terrarium but Imperial Scorpion doesn't care about them. The Mantis is not averse to eat one of the cockroaches. Note that cockroach uses scorpion as a shelter. The Mantis can see this an arachnid as a platform from which a potential victim can be attacked. It is the reason why Mantis attempts to climb on top of the scorpion. The mistake of the Mantis is that it did not take seriously the threat from the scorpion, thought behaved passively but closely watched what was happening. While observing it was possible to fix rare shots, a mantis riding a scorpion after a successful hunt for a cockroach. It seems that the mantis go too self-confident. Having eaten prey, he decides to attack the imperial scorpion. In the video you can see the fight of two predators. The mantis attack was not successful. A thick chitinous shell reliably protects the scorpion. A representative of arachnids became a winner. At some point the scorpion managed to grab the mantis with its pincers and pull it off its back. Oof, that's all for today. If you were interested, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also share this video with your friends, in order not to miss the new ISIS. Do not forget to click on the bell. Want more insects videos? Write in the comments I want. And we will surely please you with new stories from the world of wildlife. Thanks for watching and see you again on Med Science. From Russia with love is Rossi Slubovyu.